I'm Josh, and this is my colleague, Mark. We're here to bring you your breaking morning announcements. Mark. Thank you, Josh. Our first story today is about some interesting new technology. Dr. Brown has been away this week collaborating with his friend and colleague, Doc Brown. Together, they are developing self-drying clothes, one-size-fits-all shoes, and even hoverboards. These amazing products are expected to be finished by about October 21st of this year. Dr. Brown has declined a personal interview, but we hope to bring you more details soon. In local news, a group of adventurous students has decided to climb the highest flight of stairs in Stairwell 6. Contrary to popular belief, this stairway leads not to the roof, but to Narnia. However, this passageway appears to be only temporary, and it may end in about 10 seconds. Just keeping you informed. Back to you, Mark. During the renovation of the theater, a large amount of asbestos was removed. This asbestos went missing, causing some people to be alarmed that the absent asbestos may be uncontained. Many students have raised health concerns. Recently, we've received reports that the missing asbestos has been located and is safely contained within the water pipes here at Charter. No need to worry, folks. <coughs> Also, Charter Administration has declared an outbreak of senioritis. This contagion has begun to spread amongst some members of the class of 2015. There is no vaccine or cure discovered. Some teachers have attempted to slow its spread by assigning more work, but this seems only to aggravate the virus. The disease has spread too widely to be contained, and it seems that this disease may reach the entire senior class by the summer. And now, a few words from our weatherman. Ben? Thank you, Josh. Well, it seems that the low-grade front that midterms brought in is slowly leaving. GPAs have been dropping rapidly, but hopefully they should start warming up soon. Hopefully we won't see another front like the low-grade midterm front roll in until next year. Though our forecasters do speculate that there may be a high pressure zone around the time of APs and finals. As you can see here, here, and here on the weather map, we're also expecting some major snowstorms ahead. Now is a good time to stock up on road salt and shovels, if you can find them. After our blizzard on Wednesday, most stores sold out of salt and shovels, and the snow on the roads has delayed further shipments. This weekend, however, we expect to see some very nice weather. 7 degrees, sunny, and not a cloud in sight. A perfect day to go to the beach. Or have a picnic. Or go skiing. That's what I'm doing since there's also a 100% chance of snow in this beautiful weather. And that's all for our weather. Back to our regularly scheduled program. Who's that charter teacher? It's Mrs. Lounsbury! Alright, we're here live from wherever we are, and I'm here to ask you, what is your favorite movie quote? Well, I gotta say it's from that scene in Harry Potter where Gandalf says, May the Force be with you. Ah, I like that quote. It's a very good one. Near and dear to my heart. Thank you. What is your favorite movie quote? Say hello to my little friend! Yeah, that's it. Fish are friends, not food. It's gotta be from uh, Toy Story. Woody's saying, There's a snake in my boot. Hello, my name is Inigo Matoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. What is your favorite movie quote? Well, it's from The Dark Knight, and it's... Where is she? Who's that charter teacher? It's Mr. Mervine! I finished chiseling my calculator. For history, we're going to be writing down what we did today. Oh, there's the hunting horn. Everyone grab your spears, it's time for lunch.
This whiteboard is great. Downloading knowledge. Knowledge complete. Thank you, smartphone.